Hey guys, this is Rob Moffat. I thought I'd do a quick review of the Polar heart rate monitor. This particular uh, monitor, you wear a band around your chest and you wear the receiver on your wrist. It also functions as a watch and a calendar. Today we have 11.56 a.m. day 5. To use it, it has an interesting function. There's just a single button that's used to cycle through the different modes and once you're in the mood, mode <laughs> you pause after a second after pressing it and it'll switch to the next function in that mode uh, let's get started if you put your uh, chest uh, unit on you want to make sure it's moist or damp if your skin is very dry you won't be able to send but in order to communicate the receiver with the chest monitor you want to press it and go to exe and then you'll notice there's a little heart beating down here. Once it uh, beats and becomes dark like that, now it's communicating with your heart. And you're going to get a rate in just a second. So I'm beating 56 uh, beats per minute. Um, it's, it's very accurate. It's also water resistant. You can take it in the pool with you. And uh, in fact, you want it to be uh, in moist conditions because if your skin is very dry, it won't work. So... Uh, Right now it's recording, and it'll save your uh, workout, uh, and then if you want to look at later what you did, you can see. You can also set a, an alarm for to go between a high and a low number. Uh, I think I have mine set at 103 high and 43 low. We'll get to that in just a second. Now, when you change or uh, adjust the functions, you just press the, uh, the the button on the bottom. Now we're stopping that particular workout program we just did by sitting in a chair talking to you. I don't even know if it's going to uh, 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 rest uh, store it for first such a short period of time, but let's see. Let's go to uh, to zone. Zone is how you would uh, set the beep if you want to hear the sound. If or it's off right now. If you want it to be on it says okay it's not okay and it's going to go off again now we'll press it and it says on now now we're going to the high and the low if you notice here there's a plus it's 103 if we want to increase it because there's a plus we can press this button and it'll go to 104 watch now it's going to ask, is that okay? Yeah. Nope. Now, see it's minus. Now we can uh, go back down to 43. And it's going to say okay. Okay, so we're good to go. Now we're back into the uh, main menu where you just have your, your time in the calendar. If, let's say, we did a workout program, we probably have one stored here. Let's go to uh, File. Now, I think this is one minute. <laughs> Maybe it did store. So our average while I've been talking to you is 55. And the maximum was 57. And this is today's date. So it's stored April 5th. The exercise program we just did talk to you on YouTube. Okay. But if you've been running or cycling or whatever, it would have been recording that for that particular period of time. I've even worn it at night. And so long as your skin doesn't dry out, it'll continue recording overnight. So let's say you have AFib or something, you could see if it, what your high rate or your low rate was during the night. Um, and it'll have an alarm too, it'll go off at the, the uh, if you want to uh, get to your maximum or minimum. So let's go back to the main menu. So we're there. So, and the first one, the EXE, that's to, to uh, actually start uh, let's say you just put it on and you wanted to communicate you would go to that nope go back 
this is where it's going to communicate with your heart. You're going to start a new program, record it. Once it starts beating dark, there you go. It's communicating with the heart. So we've just started a new exercise program, and it's storing it. So that's how to use the Polar. I like it better than just the ones you put on your wrist. I think this is more accurate because it communicates the one that goes around your chest, and I think it, it gives a better reading. Um, it's not uncomfortable at all. You can use it in the pool and or cycling or any time you want to exercise. But I like to use it with AFib because if you're having flutter or you're having some problems, you can set a low or a high number, and it'll tell you when you reach that number to let you know you have a problem with something going on. So that's the Polar. Um, I think these are excellent devices for people because if they're exercising, they should know what their maximum heart rate is that they should be achieving when they're exercising so they don't go over it. Uh, also, if you're uh, exercising and you're trying to see how quickly your heart goes back into the normal resting mode, the beats per minute, you can tell easily without having to use your fingers on your wrist. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I think it's, it's an excellent tool. I think everybody should have something like this if you do any exercise or have any heart issues. And I've been using it now for over six months with not a problem. This rubber uh, I, I've worn continuously on my wrist for, for several weeks at a time. It's not uncomfortable. Um, I just like it. I, I recommend it highly. That's my review of the Polar a Heart Monitor. I'll leave a link in the video description. You can check out their reviews on Amazon and see what you think. I'll be doing some other devices, a uh, little uh, oxygen sensor for your finger and a wrist cuff for your blood pressure. I've been using for four years now that I like a lot. All right, guys, hope this helps out. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. I'll leave them in the comments below. I forgot to mention, you can cycle through the, uh, the functions by just holding it close to your chest. See, it went to uh, how many minutes you are in your, your program. Now it's back to the time of the day. Now it's your uh, your heart rate. Now it's back how many seconds and minutes you've been using it. And now it's back to the time of day again. So if you have it wearing it and you have your time on, if you hold it close to your chest, it will tell you your average or your current to heart rate. So you don't have to use or touch the button. You can just hold it close to your chest and it'll cycle through the, the, the modes that you would normally require uh, to be, you'd be interested in. I right, hope that helps.